everybody welcome to yet another video this one is on the dv1 the devilbis dv1 now this is the clear gun and they made uh, actually initially when they bought these guns out they bought the base gun out first which was a silver gun and then they bought the clear version out afterwards which is this one which is normally black black with gold the silver version normally has um blue a little bit of blue on it um but they also bought out um oh, supposedly a limited edition black with blue um uh striping well it's not striping it's some of the bits at the back where you adjust the fluid etc is blue uh, they bought that out as a limited edition although it seems to be out for quite a while considering it was a limited edition anyway it, it matters it matters not there's there's basically four caps with these things so this is the the c1 cap which was the first cap that came out with the clear version they did a c2 cap and they always plan to do a c2 cap as well because when you look in the original um leaflet or pdf that came out with the with the when the guns were launched there was always a C2 that was scheduled, but you couldn't get hold of them for about a year. So I'm not quite sure what went on there. But anyway, you can now get the C1 and the C2. If you're interested what the difference between the C1 and the C2 cap is, and there's quite a bit of difference, uh, I have done a video uh, using it purely for clear coat of the C1 and the C2 on a, a panel just so that you can see what the difference is. So I'll put a link in the description for that so that you can see that if you... Uh, if you wanted to uh, what you'll see here you'll see the initial spray out I've just done and you'll see that it's actually top and bottom heavy now one of the ideas of doing this was using a clear gun for both so a clear gun we're using it for initially base coat and then we're going to use it for clear coat and one of the one of the things you, you'll notice is that uh, this is a, a digital version so normally 1.5 at the top on the digital gauge on the gun is equivalent to two, putt, two bar at the base of the gun so 29 psi at the bottom of the gun is equivalent to 1.5 bar at the uh, top of the gun which is what's that about 20 psi 19 20 psi uh, but you'll see that it actually separated if you see the pattern on the left there of the two patterns you'll see that it's top and bottom heavy and the reason for that is because I set it to 1.5 bar, which is normally what you would use this on for clear coat, it actually it sprayed top and bottom heavy. And any spray gun will do that. If, if your material is too thin for the pressure you're using, uh, and there's nothing wrong with a gun, obviously, for the pressure you're using, you will get a top and bottom separation. So the easiest way to, to, to sort that problem out is just to drop the, the pressure slightly. Not a problem at all with base coat. So I ended up using this at between 1.3 and 1.35 bar, which is, what's that, about 24, 25 psi, something like that. Um, at the base at the base of the gun if you haven't got a digital version uh, it's around about 18 19 psi maybe even slightly less than that about 17 psi at the digital gauge but that you know that's just as a rough guide it depends on the thickness of the material you're using really but always look out for that if you're trying to use a clear coat gun for base coat look out for the fact that uh, uh, normally most people will use uh, a HS clear coat you can get medium solid clears but they're still normally thicker than most base coats when you reduce your base coat to the amount recommended by the manufacturer they're still normally thicker than a base coat so you can get some separation so just whack the pressure down a little bit and you'll find the separation will disappear and you'll get a nice even pattern and you do need an even pattern to get a, a, a you know an even finish it makes sense really i guess but anyway so what we're doing is, is looking at the two the two using the same gun for two things and the, the dv1 i often get asked by people in fact there was one the other day i think it was on youtube i'm not sure what video it was on uh, but in the comment section and the guy was saying you know i'm only a, a home painter but i want to get a high-end gun but I want to use it for both. 
and it seems that the DV1 people often ask if they can use it for both um, and, and you can quite easily I know a lot of people well, no, sorry, no, I know a few people that use the DV1 base gun for clear coat and are very very happy with it and in fact the C1 cap and the B plus cap I think that's right what I'm saying uh, it, it's one of the base caps and one of the clear coat caps it's definitely the c1 cap so that's the first one to come out uh, is is more or less the same as far as i can see as the base cap what i'll do is i'll, I'll do a video uh we do a spray out video i've got all the different tip sizes from 1.1 to 1.5 for these things so i'll do a spray out video with just a couple of tips maybe 1.2 and 1.4 or something like that this is actually a 1.3 i don't know whether i mentioned that but this is a 1.3 uh, I'll do a video um, and, and we'll compare the four different caps in the base gun and the clear, cut, clear gun and I'll do an intro so that you can physically see the caps and we we'll just look at the differences and that will probably help people actually think about it so we, we'll, we'll do that uh, at another time but you can see it lays base coat down really really well so now we're going to come to the clear coat now I bumped the pressure up to what I normally use these things at, which is 1.5 bar at the top gauge, which is the equivalent, if you haven't got the digital version, it's equivalent to 2 bar at the bottom. Uh, this is a U-pole clear coat, a 2080, so it's not a particularly good clear coat, it doesn't flow out that well, but the, the DV1 always has seemed to handle it quite well, it atomizes it quite well. I think the atomization is quite fine. The, the biggest problem people have <clears throat> sorry with the clear gun and the dv1 is it, it it's slow particularly with c1 cap which is this cap here people find it very very slow and uh for, for a lot of people they just can't get around that uh, but if, if you want a really good finish and you don't mind the fact that for a full-size gun it's relatively slow it is actually a very very good gun i think it's a very very good gun i mean for some reason on some of the social media uh, sites I'm on um, it, it's UK based normally but uh, it, it tends to get a bit of a ribbon and I'm not quite sure why I mean I've, I've got the base coat gun I've got the clear coat gun uh, I've got the different tips and that and I've also got a lot you know as people that watch the channel will know I've also got a lot of other guns and I can't understand why a lot of people take the mickey out of this really because uh, well, I just can't see it. I, I can't see it's actually built quite well. I think it's built very well, really. Uh, it's not up there with the, the Meiji and the Segolas, really, as far as the sort of sturdiness of build, but it's actually built very well. Um, certainly, I, I think it's built as well as the Sartas, although, you know, there'll be loads of Sarta people saying, no, you're completely wrong there. But I think it's built just as well. Anyway but you know it gets a bit of a knock in and I, I really i'm really not sure why but um one of the things that i i noticed when this thing first come out um and it was the same with the base coat gun as well when they first come out the vilbis were going on about using if you're if you're coming from the gti pro light using one tip size down than you normally use so if you normally like to use a 1.3 for base coat use a 1.2 and the dv1 and i've found absolutely no reason for that whatsoever there seems to be no difference in the delivery to me because that's what i would think you would you would expect if they're saying use a 1.2 instead of a 1.3 you would think it's because the lack of um the, you know you're getting more out of a 1.2 on the dv1 than you do on the GTI Pro Lite or the Technic Pro Lite, and I haven't found that at all. So I would completely ignore that. Uh, you know, if you would you listen to me rather than develop this? I have no idea, but uh, I, I would certainly ignore that. And I've certainly found that I've got all the different tip sizes, and I can't see any difference at all. So for me, there's no reason whatsoever to use um a tip size down uh, with this gun anyway guys uh, we're nearly at the end of the video i think you'll agree i haven't got any outside shots of this it was as i said it was a couple of years ago and i weren't doing wasn't doing outside stuff uh you know a couple of days afterwards but this is how it finished off the gun i think you'll agree it came out great 
Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching the video, and you keep watching them, and I'll keep them coming. And uh, if you have subscribed, etc., thanks very much. It is uh, welcome. We're slowly getting up there. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.